Hi, I'm John Hinchy, a consultant with Logan Consulting, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a couple new user setup tips and tricks for Microsoft Dynamics 365 for sales. With the advent of Microsoft Dynamics 365 online, the way you set up users has changed slightly. Now, to create a new user in Microsoft Dynamics CRM, you first add your user through Office 365 portal if you're in Microsoft Office 365. You go and create a user and add a license there. From there, you need to wait about 15 minutes for the user to sync over from your admin pane of Office 365 into your Microsoft Dynamics 365 environment. Once that happens, you go and check your users. Now, users is found under Settings, Security, and Users. Once the user syncs over, you'll see it appear in your list of names. I'll click on my own name to open up my user account. First, you'll want to make sure your primary email is correct. This is important for sending out email through Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Also, verify the name that you set up in Office 365 is correct. From here, the user will not be able to log in unless you assign them a security role. To do this, go to Manage Roles, and check the security role you want to have. I'm a system administrator, but usually for a new salesperson, maybe you want to choose an out-of-the-box role, such as a salesperson or sales manager. Now, once you assign them a role, they're able to log in. But there are a few other steps you'll want to take before you finish this process. You'll want to make sure you set their email configuration. From here, you go to Settings, Email Configuration, go to Mailboxes, and here you can see my active mailboxes. I'm going to open up my mailbox. You can see that it says not run for incoming, outgoing, and appointments, contacts, and tasks. The first thing you'll need to do is click approve email. Note, you will need to be a global administrator in your Office 365 environment to approve email. If you're not, you still have the ability to click the button, but it just will not go through. This is a little known thing that Microsoft Dynamics does not really seem to tell you and there's not a lot of documentation about. Once it's approved, you'll test and enable the mailbox. So from here, you'll want to check if you're on Office 365, server-side sync for incoming email. If you want an outgoing email to be allowed, you'll do it for that. And appointments, contacts, and tasks, you may want to set server-side sync as well. Be careful when choosing this option because appointments, contacts, and tasks will sync your appointments, all your Outlook contacts, and your tasks. It'll sync anyone you're the owner of in Microsoft Dynamics CRM over to Outlook. So if you don't want this to happen, you may want to click None. Also, if you're doing this, make sure your default email server, Microsoft Exchange Online, go to Advanced and process emails from today's date. If you do it in the past, it may sync appointments and tasks and contacts all from a long time back and it could create a lot of unnecessary data. Once you do that, you click your test and enable. Click sync items in exchange with this. And once you do that, you'll check here and you'll refresh and you'll see the test is in progress and these will be set to not run and eventually when they go success, go to run, they will call, be called success. I'm not going to do this here because this is our sandbox environment and we do not have our email set up here. But once you do that, you'll go to Dynamics 365 app for Outlook and you'll want to add the eligible users here for, um, to sync and set up the Dynamics app for Outlook. For all of your Microsoft Dynamics consulting needs, visit our website at loganconsulting.com. Email us at info at loganconsulting.com or call us at 312-345-8800.